now we will see how to distribute the IPA on the app store and to the people across okay now let's go to back to the developer portal now here you have to create one more provision profile you can use the same app ID certificate will be a distribution certificate so we'll be seeing we have to create one more provision profile for distribution so now before it gets loaded we'll see how if you want to distribute beta version of your app suppose you don't have a device connected physically to your macbook suppose you want to send it to your friend or your client to see the beta testing right so that person will be having itunes for sure but it's not necessary the concerned person will have a mac or the windows right so you can produce it you just have to select the device if it's connected or if the device is not connected it will show ios device and then you go to the product there will be something called archive option when you say archive xcode will produce the archive of your application and it will generate the ipa and once you once this process is complete the organizer will come you can see the estimated size and then now validate is important when you submit the app on the app store which checks the metadata for distribute you say i want to distribute as an ad hoc i want to distribute beta version you say next it will check for your entity you say yeah i have to i'm using ios level one as a provision profile and when you say export it gives the generates the ipa from your archive file and then you can give the name of your and i'll say i'll save it in my giveaway folder okay or i can say layers level one and i say save now the ipa gets saved you have to share these two files to the concerned person through an email not an issue that concerned person download these two files add these two files to the itunes and the app will appear in the application section now if you want to see that you can do it you say to itunes add to library i go to desktop priyank folder given i add this to file and say now when you go to app section you will find that file appearing see now already my file is already there on my device if it's not there you say install and it will install on your device with the icon and everything that's too cool right simply flawless process now let's go back to the to this provision profile now i'll say i want to make it for distribution obviously for the app store i'll go i'll select the same ip id i'll say continue i'll say distribution continue now here i'll mention level 1 dis because i cannot have two profile with the same name so i always suffix with dis so that we come to know it's a distribution profile i say generate so the procedure of creating the profile is still the same i say distribute now it will in meantime now i have to use the same procedure so i will be now that i don't know what happened to my machine it oh, okay now this was a developer profile this is a distribution profile i'll click i'll add i'll open the project so I just create a new project saying 12 dot distribution I'll perform the same exercise the info will have the same in build setting instead of iOS level 1 I want to say iOS level 1 this and instead of development certificate I'll select distribution same thing I'll do with the project setting and i'll make sure all my certificates have distribution bingo done
Now, before you submit or before you start uploading, you need to make an entry at iTunes connect.apple.com now this is also a portal available to only developer in your manage your app, app you can add the apps you can add the new app you can have see all the existing app you can give the name so I give my name as my port folio SQ number I say MY1 now you have to select the Now, once you select the bundle identifier, it says you cannot change it. Okay, so make sure once you have signed it, this gets fixed with this app. You say continue. Your app name, your entity has already been used by someone. So you say dummy. So it says you can see your, I say it takes four days minimum. You can select your price tie, I say free. You can have your discount on a bulk purchased by the institutional or by the corporate you can provide them I say I want to provide for both and then you have all those things to be done procedures you go continue it says version number and all I say this I say corporate suppose you have an issue you can click on the help and you can check out the copyright stuff you can select the primary category like books or business whatever you want you can have the age group rating you can have to select very precisely depending upon your app whether it contains any of those features so depending upon that the rating changes okay is this app meant for the kid then you can have dummy description you have your description you can have keywords you can have your support URL for us. It's name up info tech.com. I can copy this. I have same marketing URL privacy or the contact information. I say Priyanka Vanka. I can have include the country code as a nine one 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 one. Nine one, the one two three four five six seven eight nine ten. Any reveal node, any demand demo accounts. If you have any user agreement, you can have your own, or you can use a standard. Now you have to choose your icons. So I have the icons in my given folder. Icon size should be one zero two four by one zero two four. Now I'm launching the launch image as a icon again okay. you can have your now it has to be 640 by 960 so I just create another folder in my sample say distribution and I copy this images only so that you can have your own screenshot 5 5 screenshot I just increase the size by using a preview tool for demonstration purpose I say 640 I get the size I say save it goes here then I say iPhone 5 image so I click I go here now I say 640 by 1136 I get the now these are dummy images you just need for that I can start the process I go here I choose my iPhone which is of size I can choose the iPhone 5 image and the iPad bingo so you upload five images you can upload I don't have any routing app coverage file option this is meant for the map and as I say Now everything goes fine. The iTunes will register your app. Now it says prepare for upload. Now you go back to your view details. Instead of ready to upload. When you say ready to upload, now you are eligible. You will say is there any cryptography? If you have any cryptography in your app, you have to mention it. I say I don't have any cryptography. And say continue. Now it's ready to upload. Now it's waiting for upload. The status change for 
waiting for. Now you have in-app purchases, newsstand, right, and everything you can manage. Now let's go to the Xcode again. Now you see the distribution, right? I just closed the previous one. Okay. Now you select the iOS device if it's connected. If it's not, it's fine. Go to your product, say archive. It will start producing the archive file. Now you want to say, well, this is the latest one, you want to say validate first. Now you have to mention your app ID and password, it will check for any existing. So my ready to upload, I have few more, but this is what I want to validate. It starts validating it. So the validating validation validates about the icon size, the launch images in your info list. Trust me, prior to this, we used to get submission rejection. So it gives you all of submission and all. So rectify them. And once it validate, you can say distribute and to the app store, your app will be listed and you can say submit and it gets uploaded. Okay. So there are some issues in your info P list, which we have to rectify depending upon the errors shown. And once you do that, your app will get uploaded and here it will say waiting for review. And then you wait for a few days and everything goes fine, your app is on App Store. Now this is how the entire process works. Now you have a lot of sales, you can see your payments, you can see a lot of things on this sales plan, you can get your daily reports on how your app is working. So that's a complete package for your distribution. I hope it will help you when you get. So distribution will help you only when this tutorial will help you when you have your own license created by the Apple. Okay. I hope this tutorial help you to deploy the app as well as to distribute on the App Store. Thank you.